अबे अबे रॉकेट गाय बने हुए हो ग्रेजुएशन के लिए सिर्फ चार महीने बचे और समझ नहीं आ रहा आगे क्या करूं शुरू कहां से करूं अबे इंटर्नशाला ट्रेनिंग से मैं बताता हूं यहां है मशीन लर्निंग जावा एचआर टेली जैसे बहुत सारे करियर बिल्डिंग ट्रेनिंग ट्रेनिंग सेलेक्ट कर और अपना करियर शुरू कर इंटर्नशाला ट्रेनिंग शुरुआत यही से Good evening, and welcome to the first episode of Crash Course on Digital Marketing. Now, before we start learning what is digital marketing, as you can see on the screen, and before I introduce myself, I want you to think about this term digital marketing, and think about the first thing that comes in your mind whenever you hear this term. I'm pretty sure it's either an ad that you may have seen on YouTube. right a video ad of a brand or of a new movie that's going to release uh, it can be i'm pretty sure most of you have seen the search results ad at the top whenever you search something right and you may have also seen ads on say instagram right uh, when you're scrolling your feed and you see an ad from a brand right uh, right now i have instagram open on my mobile and i have that very example of an ad on instagram feed and here you go you can see that uh, there is this ad by a mechanic company that provides services to repair your car clean your car and so on and they are advertising on instagram right so this is another form of digital marketing and i'm pretty sure all of you have a basic idea of what digital marketing means and if you did not now you know so before we deep dive into what is digital marketing let me introduce myself i am ashank rodola i have been senior manager at internshala trainings uh, and i have been working uh, with internshala for the past 3 years and uh, i have experiences creating online content and teaching thousands of students all right so that was about me and that was about the introduction part of what digital marketing is i'll also talk through what you're going to learn in this series right in the next 5 days uh including today we're going to complete certain topics and we're going to learn certain topics so by the end of it you're well versed about digital marketing and you can start your own journey uh as a digital marketer so the first thing that we're going to learn which is today is what is digital marketing right we'll be talking about its definition uh how it compares with other form of digital uh, of other form of marketing basically which is which is uh, traditional marketing right and what are different verticals in digital marketing what things can you learn in digital marketing right once we are aware of those things we'll start uh learning about search engine optimization and its impact on the next episode here we'll learn how websites can be uh, optimized basically for search engines like google like yahoo so that any time someone searches a particular keyword a particular word that is you know related to your website to something that you're selling that search should trigger your website to come at the very top or the very first page of google search or yahoo search that's what search engine optimization is and we will also learn its impact how important it is to have your website in the very first page of search results then further we will learn about google analytics which is basically learning how well your website is performing how many people are coming to your website how many people are buying things from your website and so on and so forth then we will talk about performance marketing now this term might be new but it's very much you know viral among uh, the digital marketing sphere everyone is looking for people who are you know capable of doing performance marketing uh, and what this means is when you spend money to get performance right and performance is basically results when you spend money so that your videos are sent or basically they are shown to as many people as possible you're spending money to make your website reach at the very top of google search right and so on 
So when you spend money for performance, when you pay for clicks, for views, that is what performance marketing is. That's all you need to know right now. We'll be covering it in a very separate video. Then finally, we'll talk about career prospects and job opportunities. So to wrap it all up, to make this more wholesome, in the very last video of this tutorial session, we'll be talking about different career prospects that you have in digital marketing, approximately how much you can earn, what are the requirements of each of those roles, and how you can grab those opportunities, right? So we'll be talking about all these things in the next five days, and I hope you stay with us for the entirety of this tutorial session. All right, so let's begin and let's talk about digital marketing, right? The topic of this particular session. So the first thing that we need to understand is a definition, right? And it's as simple as this one line, that digital marketing is connecting consumers with your products and services digitally, right? Digitally means using the internet, right? So like I said at the very beginning, videos on YouTube, ads on Google search, ads on social media platforms like Instagram and so on, like even emails, right? When you send emails to your uh, website visitors, all of those things come under digital marketing. So uh, to make things interesting, let's watch a few videos, right? To understand how digital marketing actually connects people. All right. So I have this video open by Ryan Reynolds, right? He's a very famous actor. You may know uh, people who are fan of Marvel and superhero, mov superhero movies in general that he plays Deadpool. And he's a prolific uh, Hollywood actor apart from that as well. He's also a businessman who owns a big uh, telecom company called Mint Mobile in US. So he has created this ad and uh, uh, just, just have a look. It's a very short ad, it's 55 seconds. Let's have a look at how beautifully he conveys his point of why you should use money. So you can see Ryan employs comedy, he employs humor to put his point across that while other telecom companies are, you know, increasing their prices due to inflation and other factors, his company is not. And he uses his YouTube channel similarly to pr promote his movies, his business ventures and all the other things. And he's doing it alone by himself. Obviously there would be a team, right? but he usually collaborates either with one person along with him or he just promotes it by himself so that's the power of digital marketing and that's how you know that's one example of how you can market your product the other more common example is how brands websites other thing uh, other entities uh, promote their products and services and one such example is a popular you know ad a uh, youtube ad uh, that Insta, uh, that intern Shala trainings, I'm sorry, recently uh, launched, right? This was a proper brand campaign. Was theme was Shurwat Yehi Se. Let's watch it quickly as well, and then we'll quickly uh, understand uh, how it how it's different, but yet similar in terms of goal uh, when it comes to video advertising in digital marketing.
All right. So in terms of our trainings, took a different approach, right? They created a proper brand film. This is what it's called when it comes to digital marketing. And uh, they've hired two uh, famous actors, right? And they are putting the point across that, you know, if someone is confused how to start learning, internal trainings is the way to go. So that's one example. Obviously, uh, other brands also use different techniques to put their point across how their product can solve your problem, right? That's why digital marketing is connecting consumers with your products and servicing. That connecting part has to be something unique. It has to, you know, attract your consumers. And that's what good digital marketing uh, is, right? When there's some connection. And here, in turn, Shala Trainings has used, uh, you know, how you can take away confusion and present a solution uh, using their website, right? Ryan did a different thing. So these are some examples of digital marketing. Uh, these were some YouTube examples. There was an example of an influencer like Ryan promoting something. Then there was an example of a brand promoting something. Similarly, if uh, we go to Google and we search something as common as buy shoes online, right? You can see the first thing that appears is ads at the top, right? And while we are getting some cabinets, which is uh, quite weird, you also naturally get different ads uh, that are selling shoes, right? So this is another example of digital marketing where these companies, which you can see the name of here, are promoting uh, their ads or their shoes exactly using ads on Google. Then there are other websites which are not paying Google because these are not ads. These are naturally appearing because you have searched for buy shoes online. This is SEO that we talked about at the beginning when we were talking about different topics in the tutorial session. So this is SEO. These websites have good search engine optimization and that's why they are appearing at the very top like Mintra, Amazon, Tata, Flipkart and so on, right? Both of these things are example of digital marketing. All right. So uh, we'll come back to the presentation. So this is the point we have conveyed and we have learned what digital marketing actually is using different examples. The second point related to digital marketing, which sets it apart is that it has a low barrier to entry and is open to everyone. What do I mean by low barrier to entry? Low barrier to entry means that you don't have to spend too much time and too much money before you start doing digital marketing. When it comes to say particular trades like engineering, like management, it is a requirement that you need a particular degree to start as a say electrical engineer or a computer science engineer in most cases, right? It's probably a requirement whenever you uh, uh, look at different descriptions for different jobs and internships that you need to have this particular degree. For digital marketing, however, all you need is a sharp brain and interest, a deep interest uh, uh, regarding the internet. You should be really interested about internet and what's going on and a zeal to learn. That's all you need to know, right? Some creativity, some hard work, and you can become a good digital marketer. You don't need a particular degree, right? And since it's quite easy to learn, you don't have to spend too much time learning. You know, you don't need to spend one, two, three, four, hour, four years to become a digital marketer. You can do it in mere months, right? It's also open to everyone. Like I said, you don't need a particular degree, uh, whether you're from arts background, commerce background, science background, everyone can be a digital marketer, right? Then the other thing is that it's growing rapidly and it has plenty of opportunities. Growing rapidly part is very obvious. I don't need to prove it. You know how much internet has grown in the past five years. And you also know that it will only grow further. Yeah? There's no stopping internet, right? Everyone is on the internet, be it uh, a 10 year old kid or uh, an 80 year old or 90 year old grandparents. Everyone is on the internet, right? 
So it's growing rapidly. If internet is growing, digital marketing will grow as well. Then it has plenty of opportunities. This is very easy to, you know, uh, kind of validate for now. For example, if I go and uh, if I go to internchala.com, for example, on my own website, and if I search for digital marketing, let's see how many internships we have. We have 2022 digital marketing internships. Very interesting number, right? Uh, so we have 2022 digital marketing internships all over India. And I'm pretty sure when you put, uh, put you know, say work from home or a particular location, you will get hundreds, uh, you know, opportunities in front of you, right? These are just internships and that too, only an intern shala. There are lots of opportunities uh, available, right? So digital marketing, which has low ceiling, a low barrier to enter, and which has lots of opportunities, it's a no brainer, right? You you have to uh, uh, be confident that if you learn in digital marketing, if you enter the you know digital marketing journey, it's certain that you will come out victorious and you'll have an opportunity to grab, right? So you don't need to worry about how many opportunities you're going to get, right? Then finally, digital marketing itself can be done for free, right? And if you decide to spend, you spend only when you get results. Now we'll be talking about this results part later as well, but just to be uh, brief, digital marketing can be done for free, right? Creating a website is free. Certain platforms help you create free websites and using that free website, you can start marketing as simple as that, right? I've put condition supply because when that website grows, your business grows, you'll have to hire other people, right? And maybe you'll need to spend some money, right? On ads, etc. But it can be done for free if you want. Many people have done it. For example, YouTube is free. <coughs> Excuse me. YouTube is free. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, he created uh, an ad. He did not pay anything to himself, obviously. He just grabbed uh, another person, right? maybe did a collaboration, uh, but there are other videos we, where he just sits and just promotes his uh, business. Similarly, there are many YouTubers who create their YouTube channel and do digital marketing for free because they're earning uh, via YouTube. They're not paying anything. They just have a laptop. They are maybe creating tutorials. They are maybe creating gaming videos and they're doing uh, it for free. They're not spending anything and they're earning in return. And also if you decide to spend on ads, you only spend when you get results, right? So we'll talk about it later when we compare it with traditional marketing. So these are the points that, you know, basically highlight how important and how awesome digital marketing is, right? In today's world and how everyone and anyone can become a digital marketer. All right. So, you might be thinking this uh, is a very old question ever since digital marketing start gaining importance, started gaining importance, started getting famous that how is digital marketing better or, you know, why should I go for uh, uh, digital marketing if we have, you know, established traditional marketing uh, channels, right? Like newspapers in front of you, uh, like TVs, right? Like billboards, you can see when you're traveling on roads right so what exactly does uh, digital marketing do differently why should we go forward with it so i have this very simple example in front of you right so we have ads uh, by two different brands uh, by hard pick and by high right now tell me this paper the hindu is uh, uh, syndicated and it's uh, available all over india lakhs or maybe crores of people uh, read this, right? However, an ad on the Hindu also requires you to spend more than a crore, right? At least I would say uh, the amounts are not clear, but it's quite easy. And especially this is a front page that it can be multiple crores as well. So you are spending multiple crores. Agreed that crores of people are also reading right? They're uh, reading this paper. But how many times would someone pay attention to it? 
right? How many people would pay attention to it? 10 out of 100, 15, 20 out of 100. Most of the people will be focused on the news, right? And they will just turn the page and move on. So you're spending money. You don't know how many people are actually, you know, paying attention to your ad. You don't know how many people are buying your product. You don't know how many people are buying hard pick after watching this ad. You don't know how many people are buying refrigerators after watching this higher ad, right? And still you're paying a lot of money. On the other hand, you have this Google Analytics data from a website, right? It's just an example data. And you can see different, different data points in front of your different, different numbers. They're telling you exactly how many people have clicked your website, how many people have bought your product, how many people have left your website, right? So what do you think is a more efficient way of marketing? It's digital marketing, right? So coming uh, to the tabular form of differentiation to make things to make things clear traditional marketing requires more effort right that's the first thing more effort means more time and more money for the ad on uh, newspaper you will have to hire someone who will uh, be the face of your ad akshay kumar you'll have to spend a lot of money on him right to bring uh, him as a brand ambassador then someone will be there who will click the picture. Then someone will be there who will, um, you know, design the ad. And then finally, most importantly, you will be spending a lot of money on uh, printing that ad on newspaper or even showing that ad on TV, right? Digital marketing, all you need to do is maybe create a website. If you're adding, uh, you're creating an ad for social media, uh, you can hire an actor for that too, but all you need is a team of a writer, of a video developer, right? And together they can create simple image ads in a day or two, right? And then finally, when you actually spend money, it's as low as say one rupee or two rupee per click. It can even be lower, right? Even in case of video ads, it can be as uh, as low as say, you know, one rupee or two rupee per impression, right? Pretty low. So when it comes to effort, digital marketing comparatively requires less effort. Then as we have learned in the example, it is difficult to target the right consumers. The people who are reading the newspaper, they can be, uh, you know, mostly uh, people who are mature, right? 30 years and above. But if you're say selling something that is geared towards youth, that ad on newspaper won't make much sense because you're not able to target specifically the youth, right? Your ad will be seen by everyone who reads those newspapers. So basically maybe your money is going to waste if your product is not meant for uh, people other than youth, right? However, in digital marketing, you can choose who sees your ad, right? This is a game changer on TV, on newspapers, on billboard. You cannot choose your audience on digital marketing. You can, you can choose and target the right consumers who will be seeing your ad, right? Then results are not measurable like we saw and results are measurable in digital marketing. So this is the, these three points are the main differences between traditional and digital marketing. This does not mean that traditional marketing is obsolete when it comes to mass awareness. Uh, traditional marketing is one of the best. Lots of people still watch TV. Many people watch billboards, right? Whenever they're passing. So when you want to create awareness, traditional marketing is still a winner. But when it comes to specifically selling something to a specific group of people, digital marketing wins every time, right? And that is why new companies that don't have humongous budget, that don't have lots of money, they start with digital marketing, right? and then they uh, grow and then maybe also start mixing traditional marketing while doing digital marketing. So there needs to be a healthy balance, but for a new company, for a new person who is starting marketing, digital marketing is the way to go. All right. Now that we have learned about why digital marketing scores above traditional marketing, right? Scores higher than traditional marketing. It's time to learn more about digital marketing and different verticals that are present. All right. So the first thing that uh, 
first vertical that we are going to talk about is search engine optimization. So we have already learned whenever you are, uh, let's, let's go back to Google, right? And let's search uh, something different now, buy books online. All right. So whenever you're searching something on Google, right? Uh, you get ads, but you also get these websites which are appearing organically, which means they have not paid anything to Google, right? And they're naturally appearing when someone is searching something relevant, right? So Amazon is appearing at the very top. This means that it has a really strong search engine optimization, right? And we have other uh, websites coming after that. Now it's very important very, very important to have your website in the very first page of Google search results or any uh, search engine search results, because 90, more than 90% of the time, people will get what they want using these 10, 15 websites on the very first page. They don't go to the second page. Think about it yourself. How many times have you gone? to second, third, fourth page of a Google search result. You don't because you mostly get whatever you're looking for in the first page itself, right? So you need to remember that's the whole game that you need your website at the very top or at least the first page of Google search results, right? That's what search engine optimization is all about. Then we have social media marketing. We have, we have already seen examples. I showed uh, an ad on social media, right? Uh, similarly, videos on social media, uh, like the Ryan Reynolds one or intern Shala trainings one, and there can be other posts. So any ad or any post on social media is called social media marketing. So for example, if I open Instagram, right? And uh, I see this ad from Nike, this is not sponsored, right? This is a normal post, but this is a form of marketing, right? So for looking at the caption, they have uh, a new shoe, which they are promoting using this video ad on Instagram. So this is a form of social media marketing. Similarly, this was a form of social media marketing as well. And so was the mechanic ad I showed on my phone, right? So it can be paid, it can be organic. That's what social media is all about. Any ad or any post on social media that is marketing a product or a service is a form of social media marketing. So that was all about social media marketing, email marketing, the most simple one of all, every time that you, you know, sign up for a website, uh, or maybe for even for an app, you would be seeing lots of promotions in your inbox. That's what email marketing is all about. They're asking you to, you know, come back to their website, purchase something, maybe download uh, a list or something, right? and become their customer, right? Using emails, so that is email marketing. Then further, we have analytics. Now, what is analytics? Analytics is simply analyzing how well your marketing activities are doing, how well your website is doing, how well your ads are doing, right? And we'll be learning more about it when we talk about Google Analytics in the upcoming session, right? how we can measure how our website is performing, how we can track how many people are coming to a website and so on. So it's very interesting. And that's also one uh, metric uh, or one vertical, sorry, of digital marketing analytics. Then we have search engine marketing, right? Search engine marketing is nothing but paid ads on search results. So these ads, how they appear, how they look, right? Uh, what are the keywords that can make them appear? All of that comes inside search engine marketing, right? And we will also be learning social media marketing and search engine marketing together in a sense when we talk about performance marketing. Performance marketing is all about this. When you're paying someone, which is Google in this case, for performance, right? So here 99 Bookstore is paying Google to show their ad. So if I click on it, right, and if I purchase it, whatever 99 bookstore has paid Google, 
will be return on their investment right they will be paying google something but in return they would get 149 rupees from me so that is performance for them right that's the performance for them that's how well their ad is performing that is what performance marketing is it can be done for videos it can be done for search ads like this right and so on so we'll be combining the paid uh, marketing on social media and search engine when we talk about performance marketing which is one of the most important things in digital marketing nowadays it's very in demand it's very hot all right so these are the major verticals in digital marketing and i'm pretty sure that now you have a basic but you know detailed idea of what digital marketing is all about how it's different and unique right and what sets it apart so, uh, what sets it apart from traditional marketing right basically why digital marketing is such a big buzzword even uh, after so many years uh, since it began why everyone is into digital marketing right so i'm pretty sure that now you're confident about these concepts and uh, that is it for today's session right uh, we have learned about digital marketing verticals and all those things right we'll now talk about some questions uh, that uh, you may have for me right uh, and i have prepared two big questions for that apart from these two big questions if you have any other questions for me you can type in the comment box after the session is over and we'll we'll be getting back to you answering those particular questions so the first question that i've seen many students ask right uh, uh, is which vertical is most in demand so students when they learn about digital marketing uh, they also learn about different verticals right search engine optimization seo uh, paid ads right uh, search engine marketing social media marketing email and all those things now this question that which vertical is most in demand is a very subjective one right first thing that you should remind yourself is that you need to understand which vertical interests you more so as we'll be learning more about search engine optimization analytics and performance marketing you'll be clear that you know this one is very interesting to me so interest should always be more important than say something which is in demand if seo interests you more go for it right if social media interests you more go for it because opportunities are available in all of these verticals so my answer to the question is all the verticals are in demand because digital marketing is in demand right as simple as that uh, your interests should lead you to the right vertical for you right and by the end of this tutorial session i'm pretty sure you would have a vertical that you love okay then how to start digital marketing right so uh, when it comes to starting digital marketing the best thing about it is that you don't have any rigid a very strict path right you can start by simply creating a social media account right for free on instagram on youtube whichever social media you feel is perfect for you if you are creating videos youtube is the best right if you are clicking photos instagram is the best right uh, if you are writing lots of uh, thoughts or blogs or articles then website is good so that's how you can start you don't need to spend any money you just need a laptop nowadays you don't even need a laptop you you can just do it from a smartphone right and you know that smartphones are pretty accessible nowadays so start from your smartphone or start from your laptop create a youtube uh, channel create an instagram account and start posting about things that you are passionate about and that's how digital marketing can begin and that's how you can start for now uh, when we learn about more things in the next four sessions you'll have a more clear idea what exactly you can do what exactly you can play around when it comes to youtube or instagram or website and so on okay so i'm pretty sure uh, you know you'll be do you'll be doing a good job after you've gone through all the sessions all right so these were the two big questions that uh, i think you may have in your mind uh, when you think about digital marketing when you think about learning digital marketing all right more questions as i said can be posted in the comment section and uh, 
that will be it. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, to, tomorrow, we'll be talking about SEO. That will be our next session, all right? So be sure that you're on time and you join me in this crash course, right? Uh, to remind yourself, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel of Internshala Trainings. You can also press the bell icon. So you get the notification when we go live for the next crash course. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you tomorrow. ये क्या हाल बना रखा है इंजीनियरिंग तो पढ़ ली है लेकिन प्रैक्टिकल नहीं सीखे करता कुछ हूँ होता कुछ और है भाई इस बार ना मेरा फेल होना पक्का है ऐसी पढ़ाई का क्या मतलब जिसमें हो नो प्रैक्टिकल्स चुपचाप जाओ इंटर्नशाला ट्रेनिंग पे यहाँ है थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग रियल एस आई वेब एंड एप डेवलपमेंट प्रैक्टिकल लर्निंग वाली ट्रेनिंग ट्रेनिंग सेलेक्ट करो और थ्योरी के साथ प्रैक्टिकल भी सीखो इंटर्नशाला ट्रेनिंग शुरुआत यहीं से